Hello, and welcome to our second Innovation Matters podcast. We promised at the end of our February podcast to talk to an expert about growing your team as your business grows. Well, today we have that expert with us. Gina Vliet has for many years helped business leaders identify, understand, and manage the impacts of change in their organizations. Welcome, Gina. Thank you for inviting me, Stu. I'm pleased to be here and to talk about change. It's one of my favorite topics to discuss. Today we're here to help business owners understand what happens when change is introduced in the workplace, specifically adding a new team member, which is one change that has far-reaching implications for a growing business. So Gina, what happens when you add a new team member? The short answer is that your culture changes. Everyone brings their own personality, knowledge, skills, and experiences. That's why you hired them. And this impacts everyone because human beings require time to build relationships and to be able to work effectively together. What are some of the possible impacts to my team and my business? A few things are guaranteed to happen when someone new joins a team. First, productivity will drop. Onboarding someone takes time and energy away from doing one's own work at a normal pace. But you need to go slow to go fast, so it's important to take the time to orient your new hire thoroughly. Onboarding includes three key components. Number one, build context and build relationships. Connect them to the people their work will impact and to those whose work will impact theirs. Number two, set clear expectations. Tell them what is being measured for success in the company. Explain why it matters and what's expected of them to help the company be successful and meet its goals. And number three, train them properly. Equip them for success. You can dramatically impact how quickly they're up to speed by providing them the why as much as the how of what they're doing and how it impacts the business. Something else that happens when someone new joins the team is that your newbie will feel a bit like a fraud. Until they get some context for their technical skills, they'll feel a bit lost while they learn to navigate the new environment. And finally, your incumbent team will be a bit uncomfortable with the change. Until they can build a relationship with the individual and figure out what's in it for them, there will be growing pains for everyone. So basically, your new hire needs to learn how to navigate and be effective in your workplace culture. They may come fully loaded with technical skills, but they do not know how to get things done around here. They need to get the lay of the land, know the players, how to communicate effectively in your new culture, and lastly, how to do their specific tasks. If you don't address the first three, the last will be ineffective and or inefficient. Gina, what else can I do as the leader to reduce the impact? Be patient, have a plan, and then follow the plan. Start with recruiting and hiring the right individual for team fit. This means engaging your staff, having a good job profile and excellent posting that reflects your culture, getting referrals, and having good interview questions. Follow that with a strong onboarding. You need to build context and relationships, set clear expectations, and train them. Communicate, be consistent, engage everyone impacted by the change. Set targets and measure them. Learn to give and receive feedback. So important for a leader. Plan for development and succession with your entire team. And lastly, empower your people to contribute to your success by listening and by removing obstacles so they can get on with the job of making you money. Wow. Thank you, Gina. You've given me lots to think about as I prepare to grow my own team. If I or any of our listeners have questions or want your help in planning and implementing these steps, what are the best ways that we can contact you? My website is still under development, but you can email me at gina.vliet at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-A dot V-L-I-E-T at gmail.com. Or your subscribers can reach me through your website. Also, I'll be posting the podcast on my LinkedIn. They can find me there. I'll post a link to your website on our change page as soon as it's launched. So thank you for tuning in all and listening all the way to the end. We look forward to your feedback on this podcast through our Prusik Innovations Facebook page, our website, prusik.ca, or email me at stumure at prusik.ca. Now stay tuned for our next podcast if you want to learn more about how to get the best return on your investment when it comes to introducing new people or technologies or improving processes in your business. Our upcoming series on managing change will be about how to overcome your biggest barrier to change. It's the same for everyone. 
Can you guess what it is? You'll have to tune in next time to find out if whether you guessed correctly or not. Farewell, and thank you for listening.